Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to speak to you in general about longevity, the lifespan, the maximal lifespan, etc. You have all these channels on YouTube. They want to tell you what to eat, what's good for you, what's not good for you. They recommend you take this supplement and that supplement. They say you should work out moderately, moderate exercise, 100 feet, walk, swim, ride a bike, etc. You practice all this autophagy, calorie restriction, fasting, you feel fantastic. However, you are now the age 80. You're on some kind of medication for something. If you're not, you're very fortunate, but practically 100% of 80-year-olds are on medication. Okay? Your muscles, your body is not like it used to be at 80 years old. I don't know anyone, but I noticed that these longevity biohackers, longevity experts, and longevity influence, not one of them concentrates on this. All they concentrate is on internal, only the internal nutrition, what you need to eat, to have healthy biomarkers. You're 30 years younger biologically. My test said I'm 30 years younger biologically. It's only one problem. When you're 30 years young biologically, it does not mean you're going to live 30 years longer. This is what they... They want you to believe. This is how they make it. They're interpreting it. And people believe this. It doesn't matter how much younger you are internally, if that's even correct. But anyway, I want to get to this part here. As you age, as the years go on, you age exponentially. In other words, from 20 to 40, it's not that bad. From 40 to 60, it gets a little bit harder. From 60 to 80, it gets even harder. From 80 to 100, forget it. It's exponential. Now, when you reach 100, you want to lift 120, you want to break the 120 barrier. Everything is perfect. You even look 20 years younger. Only one problem. How is your exercise capacity? How is your body? Do you have any idea what kind of body you need to have to go to 150 at 100 years old? You have to have the body of like a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old when, when you're at 100 years old because you're just not going to be strong enough to maintain the resilience to go further. You're just not. If you have the ordinary 100-year-old body or 90-year-old body at 100, I mean, look, I mean no disrespect, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real here. You don't have any chance of going any further to 120, 130. If you do, if you do make it there, let's say, you will be in an institution on a bed dependent on everybody to wipe your butt and everything. So I don't understand why nobody talks about this. Why everybody's just concentrating on nutrition? Why nobody concentrates on what I always talk about here? You have to maintain a body half your age. That's what you need to do. That's the only way you could do everything perfect. If your body it's not heavier age when you reach 100. You're not going anywhere. Can you prove me wrong? Comment in the comment section. How? Explain to me how I'm wrong about this. You need a young body to go from 100. Forget about 150. Forget about 150. It's not going to happen with a 100-year-old body. Most centenarians today are dependent on something. They don't think you... You people are mistaken. I'm going to put some studies on here that shows you centenarians are not independent. Almost all of them are dependent on something. So I don't understand what supplements, nutrition, talk to me, show me how you move, show me how you run, show me, show me your mobility. You then you have these 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds on YouTube doing all these fancy stuff. Yeah, you're doing that now in your 30s, early 40s, 20s. Talk to me when you're in your 60s. I want to see how you move when you're in your 60s because there's a big difference between 35, 40, and 60. I mean a big difference. That means nothing. I mean, no disrespect to anyone here. All I'm saying is, this is my message to you. If you reach 100 years old, you better have the body of a 50-year-old to go to 120, or else I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news. It's common sense. Anyway, 
Have a wonderful day. I just wanted to share this message. Have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon in my next video.